Hello everyone, this is The Roving Reporter. Yes, today we're gonna to be talking about tutorials, but I'm not gonna give, give you a walkthrough or a step-by-step -step process on the tutorial itself. The idea is to look at how we can enhance the, the experience of the student by using a simple tool. It's an add-on and Imagine you need to create tutorials for your students, especially your students who have now migrated from in-person, face-to-face classes to online classes. And now you need to give them more instructions through videos, through PowerPoint, through you know, written or video-oriented instructions. And this is important because you want students to become more and more autonomous. Online students, need to have this autonomy. They need to know exactly what they have to do when an assignment is given. So the clearer the tutorial can be, the better. But what this tool is going to do is help you even, let's say, work even much in a much smoother way and enhance the experience for the students. Let's take a look what I'm talking about. Well, what is if we want to look at tutorials, according to TechSmith, there are seven key elements for any tutorial, especially tutorials that are for educational purposes, right? These are the seven key elements. But I want to introduce you to an add-on, as I mentioned already, that can make this experience even better. It's called Lightspot. It's there, you can add it in, put it into your extension and work with this tool to highlight, to you know, maybe present specific parts of your screen, underline, uh, add text, comment, draw, you name it. So to exemplify, it gives you this. When I click on the add-on and I go here, and maybe I want to just focus on these. So as you can see, I have the option of uploading this maybe to the cloud. I can share it social media, save it on, or find images that are similar to that on Google, print it, make a copy of this image, save it, and then I can also maybe undo, can add some color here if I want. I can write in maybe some extra information to what I've already presented on the screen. I can do this by marking. So if I want to just go and highlight here, the color, of course I choose the color that I want and I go in and I want to highlight that now. So here I go and I go and highlight here. This didn't change the color, but I need to press OK, great. So I can highlight color. I can add in some more shapes if I want and so on. You know, add arrows, I want to maybe focus on this as many arrows as I want to make sure this experience is quite clear to the students. So this is a really interesting tool that can make it even better because I want to make sure students are following me. Another quick example of this, let's take a look. I can move away from here, we erase everything. Another quick example is with text, as I mentioned, maybe I want to focus on some key vocabulary, I'm reading a passage, or I'm giving students a text that they need to work on. So I want to go through and comment. This can be great to give feedback as well. Maybe I want, to, want them to you know, focus in on specific parts of the text. I'm using this example I gave. I received an email with instructions. Since I'm talking about tutorials, I thought it'd be interesting for us to look at that. Take a look, what do you see? So you have there a step-by-step -step process that is important for anyone that's going to be participating, making sure they have everything they need to go through the process. So again, using my tool, I can go here and select an area. If I just wanna talk about this, and again, I wanna maybe talk on or highlight key vocabulary, you know, comment on specific parts of the text, yeah, draw the attention while I'm working like you are seeing this as I talk to you right now. So there you have it. It's a tool that can be very, very useful. It's called Lightspot. Add on here, you just go to the Google Chrome extension store 
download it and work with it with any text you want. And this can make your tutorials that you already do with your students even more interesting. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to press like or share. Put that notification button on, or you can save it to watch it for any other time. Add to the list that you have. This is the Rofen Reporter. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye.